My name is Jennifer Essex. Um, I'm a choreographer and performer, and I'm really interested in creative coding and digital media and new technology and the ways that that's influencing performance and dance practice. I came as an initiator, but now I'm a collaborator. <laughs> I come from Canada, and I came from in the city that I was. I knew pretty much everybody, and so it was really easy for me to find people from other disciplines to. Um, collaborate with and that's where I find the most joy is working with visual artists or musicians or composers this kind of thing and I find in London that's it's quite difficult actually because it's a huge city with loads of people and actually I know very few of them so yeah it was really a great opportunity for me to meet some new people and also I'm working on um, a proposal for a commission and it was such a great opportunity I thought to develop that much further and I found already that it's quite a good opportunity to get yeah just to have my brain picked a little bit to get that idea clarified and to get just freshness injected into it. I would say I'm not familiar with the hackathon I've heard of them before I thought it sounded like great fun um, I've worked with people who do like some kind of creative technology and they've referred to it in the past and you just think that's such a good idea idea for a model, you know, to, and I like the idea of not being precious with material, just going for it and then the, you can throw it away all the end if it doesn't work. I'd say it is similar in that it's got like, you know, you do kind of these fun warm-ups that are actually um, creating the foundations and creating the foundations for the thought processes that you're wanting to go through throughout the day and they're building a foundation and um, trust between the performers and collaborators and that's the way I like to start my process as well and um, it's different in a way because there's no I mean there's no leader so I'm usually the choreographer so in a way it's my responsibility to direct to look outside and the final say is always mine so in this particular grouping no one has the final say and we have to, we must kind of come to this kind of consensus, which is actually really difficult, especially with strangers and people from different practices and all of this kind of thing it makes it really challenging. And also I think in a, in a good way, it's a good challenge to meet people on their own terms. I think it's quite challenging to take on a proposal that is quite formed. So yeah, when someone else has kind of completed their conception of a project and then is passing to it to you um, and then they're stepping away, there's a kind of, you know, you, you feel at first that you really need to take care of their vision, but they're not there, so they can't really complete the vision for you. And then you, it actually goes through a process where finally you can take ownership of it and you start to get excited about what the, your own ideas in, in the project are. And that actually takes quite a long time, I found. I'm definitely going to walk away with some great kind of just exercises for creativity, like the boxes and the like yoga pretzels and ways of meeting new people and ways of collaborating with people who are um, in different, like not dancers or not new movement practitioners. So I think that it's really interesting to build a language with those people and connect with people um, not necessarily on movement terms, but on something that we can all share. And yeah, I think it's quite a fun atmosphere and I definitely want to take that away. And I think that's been, they've been really great in achieving that.